Rayner on Saturday, but he's still in hot water for his criticism of club chairman Bill Tomlins. Mike Newell made a belated attempt to repair the damage, taking time out from training to apologise to Amy Rayner, the assistant referee at Luton's weekend game. It said that women should not be allowed to officiate in the men's game. I want to publicly apologise to uh, Amy Rayner and anybody else that I've offended. Uh, the comments that I made after the game were, were ill-timed and out of order. And it was always my intention to apologise. I just wanted to do it privately this morning before I did it publicly and I couldn't get hold of Amy Rayner until this morning. Rayner is one of 16 women qualified to referee games in the higher leagues. Newell's post-match diatribe followed an incident when she gave a corner against his team. The replay suggesting strongly she did make a mistake. But from the set piece, it was a Luton player who managed to head it into his own net. Today it was clear that Newell wasn't about to reassess his views on women officials. I very rarely say things that, that um, I, I don't mean, but um, I... Um, I'm not, going to get in, I'm not going to get into a debate about uh, my opinions or whatever. It, today it's, um, I, it's my intention to publicly apologise to anybody I've offended, particularly Amy Rayner. You have to be clear in what I said. I was talking about officiating and where the game is going um, with lady officials. Now, I, as I'm not going to get into a debate about that. I didn't say that uh, there's no place for women in football, right? The Luton manager is no stranger to controversy. His comments about corruption in the game made headlines earlier in the year and sparked an FA inquiry. The Luton board is meeting to discuss this latest outburst, his future in the balance. That's a question you're going to have to ask the board, isn't it? That, uh, that's not going to be my decision. I'm not going to resign if that's what you're asking. Saturday's defeat against QPR was Luton's fourth in a row. If he keeps his job, he'll be keen to try and put the row behind him and concentrate on the next game. Peter Salt, Sky Sports.